And good Friday evening, everyone. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Beth Ward. Western Mass News has learned that two of those killed and not one but three of those injured were from Western Mass. Today, we've uncovered that two of the survivors live in Feeding Hills, not Connecticut. We have team coverage of the B-17 crash. Western Mass News reporters James Villalobos and Audrey Russo, they've both been working on the latest developments all day. Audrey Russo, however, begins our team coverage at Bradley International Airport with the very latest from there. Audrey? There have been no press conferences held by the NTSB today as they have over the last two days. In the meantime, the community, friends and families of the Western Mass survivors and victims are rallying strong this evening. The neighbors of Thomas and Linda Schmidt reaching out to Western Mass News Friday. They say the 62-year-old couple lives in Feeding Hills, just over the border from Suffield. We've learned Thomas is a 1975 graduate of Agawam High School. One of their neighbors spoke with us over the phone. She says she hasn't seen the couple since the crash, but was relieved to hear they survived. She wants to send them a message that she's willing to help them maintain their yard or help with chores as they recover. Relief and well wishes for the couple echoed on social media this morning. Well, eventually we'll get through this. I've been through it before. You, have, you learn to live in a new world. Other members of the Western Mass community are in mourning. Brother of victim James Roberts had to wait nearly 24 hours before learning officially of the Ludlow man's death. Roberts among the seven victims who didn't make it out of the crash, including the pilot and co-pilot on the plane, and 56-year-old David Broderick of West Springfield. The Schmitz among the seven injured. The NTSB is working to get an explanation on why the multi-engine plane went down for those still alive to hear it. We heard audio of communications between the fi of, uh, pilot and air traffic control of a problem with the engine. We have to determine was that one, was that two, we don't know, or three or four, we don't know at this time. The NTSB is closing out day two of their investigation. In eight more days, they're expected to release their preliminary report on the crash. Now, coming up on Western Mass News at 6, we'll hear from the nonprofit organization that hosted the doomed B-17 flight. They're making a statement this evening about changes they're going to make going forward. Reporting live from Bradley Airport, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.